whether you're willing to see it or not. One more from the spirit animals. Woo! <laughs> Projectile. Ooh. Panther spirit 44. Reclaim your power. Exactly, Pisces. Speak your truth. Roar if you have to. I know you're a fish, but roar. All right? Channel your inner panther. That's a 44. That's Archangelic Assistant right there. So call them in. Oh, and then, of course, the bottom of the deck. Take a leap of faith. Do it, Pisces. Do it, do it, do it. You know you should. It'll be amazing. Now, I'm going to quickly end this reading with your... Work your light oracle message. I shall do the final one. Okay. So, one final message for Pisces for this reading for the Triumph and Success card, please. <clears throat> wow. The great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits soul tribe. If that's not confirming this what we've just said um, about you coming together with your soul tribe. I don't know what it is. And I haven't actually read this card before, so I'm really excited. This week, this deck has only arrived this week into my life, and it is amazing. Okay, yeah, this is actually an activation card, so I'll explain that once I've read the message to you. So it says, you are being called to let your intuition move you physically. You are connected to a group of cells who are weaving a web around the world. And as you travel and share your creations, something is rethreaded. This card is an acknowledgement that you are either being called to connect with others who are like you at a soul level, or that you already are. You are being called to gather groups of people, either by leading them or becoming part of a group that can support you and your soul's personal mission. You are part of a group of souls who agreed to be here at this time in history to heal yourself your ancestral line and the planet to raise consciousness so that we can continue to call this magnificent place home for eras to come one of many consciously choosing to devote your life to something greater than yourself it's time to call in your tribe by sharing your soul's voice and letting yourself be seen when you share what is real and true to you and you share the medicine that you most need those who are like you will gather around you you are your tribe. They are just like you, and just as you are longing and searching for them, they are longing and searching for you too. Okay, so with this activation, if you pause the video, record what I'm about to read to you, <clears throat> and uh, hold the card up to your heart and say it out loud, okay? So it says, I choose now to let myself be seen. I am ready to call in my soul tribe and create a web of light all over the planet. Wow. Okay, beautiful card. I will now pause the video so that I can do the next spread. I hope that resonated, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, and this is now for the final spread for card number 12, the Major Arcana Energy of Sacrifice. As I had mentioned earlier, it is the Hangman Energy from the traditional tarot. So let's see. The Triumph of Success, the last one, is pretty amazing. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, Pisces, for the card sacrifice, a six card spread, please. What do we want to tell Pisces about this? <laughs> the higher self card, okay? Somebody is starting to connect with, or merge with, or has already merged with, and is embodying their higher self. And for others of you, you're starting to balance your masculine and feminine, which makes you one step closer to starting to embody your higher self, which is awesome. At this time on this planet, that's brilliant. You're right on time. Um, High Priestess, what comes after that, please? For Pisces, for the sacrifice. <laughs> Not one third of the deck, Theros. Wow, the Judgment card. Second chances, epiphanies, realizations, aha moments. You know, it quite literally, like situations and things rising from the dead quite literally that kind of an energy um so let's see what's the next card we've got two major arcana to start so we've got destined events playing out here okay whatever is playing out this week my friend is meant to be playing out um 
what comes after the judgment card this week for Pisces from the 8th to the 14th of February 2020, please. What do people need to get this one? All of them? <laughs> Just that one. Queen of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands, the Fire Sign, Queen, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Doesn't have to be, but she's very, very fiery. She's very passionate. She knows where she's going. She knows who she is. This could be someone that's embodying their higher self very much. You know, she tells it like it is. She doesn't care. She's not going to sugarcoat anything just for your emotions. That is who she is. But it's not like she's a disrespectful little person. Um, you know, she's not just a menace to society. She's just confident and assertive. And she doesn't take any shit, basically. That kind of lady. She's as clever as a cat and as adaptable and as flexible as a cat. Um... <laughs> Specifically, J and B may be significant to some of you um, in this reading. Okay, what comes next after the Queen of Wands, please? What comes after the Queen of Wands for Pisces for this spread for a round? Ooh. <laughs> the table one there. Okay, we have the. Uh, the ending of being feeling backstabbed and betrayed. Okay, at least it's the ending. And the reason why it's ending is because you're sort of rising into a more high consciousness version of yourself. And you're not taking as much shit as you once upon a time you did. Quite literally. It's just like, since I've gotten the Queen of Wands energy, like I've tapped into that. It's just like, yes. <laughs> the, the words, the swears are coming out. So it's just like, Phew. and there's nothing, like some people get so delicate about people that swear. Sometimes it's a form of expression. It's emphasis. It's a form of emphasis. <laughs> that is what it is for some of us. Um, and I feel like that could be part of a shift. Like you've shifted into a new version of yourself. And that could be taking some people back a little bit. But when you've got the Ten of Swords, I actually like it. Because it's coming to the end of that kind of energy. Which is where you're feeling backstabbed and betrayed and mistreated and, you know, unappreciated. So what comes after the Ten of Swords in this spread, please? Oh yeah, it's an end because you become a master manifester, okay? You're focusing on manifesting a very positive timeline or future for yourself. Uh, what comes after the magician? Spread these. To me. Sorry, I keep the camera there for a second, guys. <laughs> What is the final card in this spread, please? For Pisces. Ooh, hello. There's a page of cups. An offer or proposal of some description. Something very heartfelt. Something almost from your soul. This could be a, almost making a proposal for a business, possibly. A, a spiritual business, something like that. It doesn't have to be. It could be something emotional based. It could be, you know, making a very heartfelt, sincere apology or offering a gift to a friend or family or loved one. Um doesn't have to go one specific way um so let me pull some clarifiers because so far we've got either you or somebody very close to you is embodying their higher self truly being very very intuitive very divinely guided or led um and having a few epiphanies and realizations maybe this is the death and rebirth process that you've gone through recently because it's almost like second chances um and this, it's almost like you started embodying your higher self and you went through this transformation or this death and now you're this feisty, ferocious version of yourself that's kind of like, I take no crap from anyone. I don't care who you are. I really don't. Because I'm not going to walk around on eggshells making you feel better so I can feel like this because I know who I am. I am a master manifester. I am a divine co-creator. And I am going to share my gifts and whatever it is that I feel divinely inspired to do my kookiness my light my craziness whatever it is i want to bring to the table i will bring it because i can and nobody's going to tell me otherwise Whew. very fiery very feisty but i love it and you know what pisces <laughs> your water i don't know if you get that fiery like i have family that's pisces and i can tell you they are not that fiery so bringing that kind of passion and fire like it's gonna rock people <laughs> may i please clarify the high priestess Woo. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. Okay, the High Priestess. This is almost like the yin-yang card, okay? 
So it's about balance. How much does it mirror that card? You've got black and white. Sorry, black and white. Black and white. Okay. So planning, you know, sorry, planning, action. Okay. This is about taking action in your spiritual and your physical life. This is beautiful. And this is really you. It's more stepping into your power and moving forward in faith. And that all that card also reminds me of the chariot card from the traditional tarot. So it really is like you sacrificed your 3D world or your 3D connections for the sake of leveling up and embodying your higher self and achieving this. It is like that was your sacrifice. I really feel that. Um, so judgment card, what's that about? Is it transformation? Is it an epiphany? May I have a clarifier for the judgment card? What is happening? What are you talking about with the judgment here? <laughs> Epiphanies or realizations about the hostilities in your life and where they came from. Maybe that's where the feistiness is coming from that I'm picking up for those of you that this spread is for. It's just like, you know, we go from, oh, higher self embodiment to, rah, don't talk to me. You know, like, you suck. Because I can feel your energy from a mile away and I know you're, you're full of it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's almost like these people that have put you through the ringer already. It's like, Psh, don't. I already know. I know the drill with you people. And the thing is, it's because of the hostilities that you've experienced from them that your feistiness comes from. Because it's almost like you've had this epiphany or realization that the hostilities in your life is a little vibrational shit that you're no longer going to put up with. Basically. That's just awesome. Because yes, that realization that you're not going to put up with it makes you kind of feisty and a bit more, you know, fight and flight in a sense. And that's how you're possibly coming across to people, but you know, not stuff them. Their opinion of you is not your any of your business, Pisces. <laughs> Ascension 101. <laughs> Queen of Wands, or what are we talking about here? Who, what? Is it Pisces? Really? Okay. So whether this is you or somebody else, Pisces, um, either you are or you may be uh, experiencing financial constraints and that's possibly <laughs> kind of making you a bit more standoffish as well because life is stressful, life is difficult. You're not able to make ends meet. You're not able to make yourself comfortable. So the feisty element could be a little bit overprotectiveness because maybe this financial constraints that you're finding yourself under has been imposed on you by these people that you've had hostilities with, the Ten of Swords people. Okay, so let's find out what a little more about the Ten of Swords. What info? Who's, who, what, when? A female that has stabbed you in the back. Um, and doesn't necessarily have to be a female. Could be, but could be someone with predominantly feminine um, attributes and personality traits. So this is possibly the realisation that you've had of who this is. And I, it's a number 44, so I feel like you've got spiritual and you know help from the other side of the veil in assisting you to spot who this person is and have this realization and this epiphany which is really really good because <laughs> it makes you feel so loved and so protected it really does okay so the magician clarify him please what do we need to talk Pisces about the magician a little boy in would be nice what are we manifesting well <laughs> we're manifesting a new beginning a new beginning, far away from low vibrational people that do not value you and do not appreciate you and that will not backstab you or betray you. Okay? Fantastic. Putting your energy to better use, I just heard. And it's like, I'm not going to constantly go around in circles with these people where I'm not making any progress. There's no love. There's no nourishment. There's nothing that brings my heart or my soul any benefit. Why am I going to do that? I'm a master manifester and a divine co-creator, so why am I not going to put my energy and my time and this wand to work manifesting this beautiful, happy new beginning for myself? Okay? New beginnings are... Your, there's a saying or a quote that I came across a while ago, is you're one decision away from a whole brand new life. And I was like, really? Yes, true. One decision. And I just saw 5444 four, four when I said that. So, hey, Page of Cups, can I please clarify that? You have a lot of angelic or archangelic help. Okay. Page of Cups, Pisces. Why are you being anxious? <laughs> you realize this week that you are a master manifester and you're going to 
manifest a new beginning. Okay, I believe that this new beginning you'd like to manifest might be with a potential romantic counterpart. And you are anxious up the wazoo about how that's going to go down, whether you're going to be accepted or whether you're going to be rejected. Now, Pisces, if you are telling yourself that you're going to be rejected, you're going to be rejected. If you realize that you have a heart and a soul that is made of gold and you carry a spark of the awesome divine energy that animates everything in creation and learn to value and love yourself a little bit more, Pisces, you won't be kind of saying, oh, but it's too good to be true, when you probably deserve it, Pisces. Okay? Having empty... Uh, half-assed connections in our life is not why we came here okay we came here to create love and positive vibes and to experience love in various different ways and forms and you know <laughs> please know your worth okay you are divinely guided if you've been able to step away from the things that are no longer serving you know that you can step forward towards the things that are more for you and if you are feeling fear, that is because it's meant for you. So kick that fear in the butt. <laughs> Hummingbird spirit, be here now. My team say that to me all the time. And it's a number 34, which is number 7. The number of the divine. Okay, it's a highly spiritual number. And it's like, be here now. The easiest way to manifest is to be in the present moment and to fantasize with a big grin on your face and absolute joy in your heart about positive outcomes that you'd like coming around later. So... Why would you not be here now and sit there with a goofy grin on your face while you're daydreaming about the outcomes you'd like to create, like a master manifester or a magician would? <laughs> One of the keys to being a master manifester is to be here now. So, I like that. What else do we have to tell Pisces? Turtle spirit, slow and steady, wins the race. Rome was not built in a day, my friend. Okay. Take a breath. Take it one step at a time. What else do we have? <laughs> Last one. Ant spirit. Time to collaborate. Collaborate. Okay. Share the load. That's what I just heard. Share the load with your team in spirit, with your guides. Okay? Sometimes you can't necessarily share the load with your people in the physical world. However, your team in spirit, they can handle quite the load, in case you didn't realise. So your final message from the Work Your Light Oracle, which is a deck I'm absolutely madly dollars in love with right now. Alrighty. What do we have for Pisces? For this final spread. Pisces! For the 8th to the 14th. What is the final word from the Work Your Light Oracle, please? <laughs> okay. We have Trust Your Path. If you knew, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? <gasps> if you knew that anything was possible, what would you do, Pisces? That is a beautiful card. Um, so trust your path, and your path is your own. I just heard nobody else can critique it. Nobody else can tell you how it should look, how it should feel, any of it. Okay, this is just a inquiry card. So, so food for thought. <laughs> It says, the universe is conspiring. Keep facing your true north. Your job is not to pave the path, but to simply keep facing your true north and take one step after another. If you do this, you can't go wrong. The universe is conspiring. Don't waver or doubt. Use your heart as a compass and put one foot in front of the other. If you follow the invisible trail of what lights you up, you will light up the world without even trying. Most people don't follow the highest call of their soul because they are waiting to see the end destination before they take the first step. If you take one baby step each day, within a year you will have taken 365 steps in your dedicated direction. If you want to write a book, write a page every day. If you want to change careers, do one thing every day in dedication to that. Before you know it, in just a year from now, you will turn back and look in awe at how far you have journeyed. Keep moving and open yourself up to a whole new level of support and receiving. Things are not going to work out the way you are planning, but if you have a little faith and keep showing up, they will work out even better than you could have possibly imagined. 
but micromanage the universe, sorry, don't micromanage the universe, trust your path and let your soul lead the way. So your work your light inquiry is, if you knew that you would be supported no matter what, what would you do? What would you do, Quakies? That is how you manifest an amazing future. Wow. I think you'll see why I love this deck now. I'm going to leave it at that. Sending you all love and light. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I will see you guys next week. Thank you.